Now that you have a basic understanding of variables and constants, and the types of values that they can represent, you should understand how to reference them within your scripts. Variables are simply referenced by their name and preceded by a dollar sign. This applies whether you are referencing or as some refer to it as calling the variable within a print statement, assigning it to another variable, or using it in a conditional statement, etc. Remember that variables are case sensitive. Another good thing to remember about variables is that you will call them within your scripts again. So make the name that you choose for the variable relevant to what it represents. You do not want to name a variable that holds someone's age, ABC, because when you want to call it, you may not remember what the name is. We would name it age or perhaps customer age. The same suggestion applies to constants. When you name it, pick a name that is relevant to the data that it is representing. When referencing constants in a script, there is a different method to use than variables. Constants are referenced without the preceding dollar sign, and thus they are a bit more difficult to work with in a statement such as print. Let's examine this script. First, we're defining our constants, defining our variables. You can see how in the assignment operation we're doing here, we're assigning first name and last name to full name, preceded by the dollar sign. Down here, we're printing out a couple of different ways. Here, we're printing out our variable, first name, and our constant, last name. Notice how there's no preceding dollar sign when we're calling our constant in here. Now, this line is very important. Notice that down here, we're calling our constant, first name, which is Mike but this will not print out our first name. Because it's within double quotes, the interpreter will not interpret that as a constant. It will just print out those words, first name. We actually have to bring them outside of the double quotes as we've done up here in order for it to interpret properly. So I left this here just so you could see that this will not work and that in this case of constants, you must bring it outside of any quotes, as opposed to variables, which can be called right inside the quotes. This is called the concatenation symbol. We'll learn more about the concatenation symbol as we go through operators further on in the chapter. There are a couple of other ways to reference variables, particularly related to the print or echo statements. But for now, the methods I've shown you here are the most relevant to learn.